This After Effects tutorial is made possible by ArtBeatsExpress.com. Create a free ArtBeats Express account today and receive free high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Content includes footages, images, After Effects templates, sound effects and more. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at creating this really clean and simple looking text reveal into After Effects. This tutorial is for, you know, people who are just getting started with After Effects and, you know, kind of a beginner level. So if you are from an intermediate to an advanced level guy for After Effects, then this tutorial may not be that exciting for you. But hey man, you know, that's always something new to learn. So yeah. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so let's go and create a new composition and let's just keep this 1920 into 1080, 30 frames, 5 seconds should be good enough and hit OK. Then first of all, I'm going to go and create my text. So I'm going to select my text tool and type in anything that you want. So I'm going to type in, let's say, stay, just align this into the center like so and let's just select next uh, light it's a really nice font then i'm gonna select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it because i want to create stay raw so i need to create two titles or two texts i mean just type in raw and just you know just drag this like so and let's just try to place this right at the bat like so maybe a bit take your time yep that is looking okay and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide my raw for now that is the second text I'm just gonna hide this so that we focus on the stay text so first of all we need to go and create a rectangle make sure it covers our text like so and this is gonna act as our mat so I'm gonna get rid of the strokes I'm gonna set this to zero and add a black fill and just align this then maybe I'll just rename this to let's say S mat for the stay mat for the stay text mat I mean and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard to bring down the opacity and I'm gonna you know bring down the opacity a little bit so that we can see our text so that we know what's happening so I'm gonna go to one second and ten frame select my text layer and hit P to bring down the position properties and give a keyframe on it go to the beginning of the composition and I'm gonna drag this out like so so now we have this really simple animation and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the track mat of the text to alpha mat. So now where the rectangular is there, rectangle is present, the text is going to appear and if I just reverse this up, I just need to you know place the opacity to 100. It's going to do the exact opposite of it. So I'm going to just set this to alpha mat for now. You can see we have something like that. And I'm going to do the same exact thing for the second text. So I'm going to name this, let's say, R mat or the raw mat. And let's just bring this down. And make sure you place it above our text layer. So I'm turn this layers on. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, hold shift and drag this like so. And bring down the opacity so we can see our text and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my text layer and the same exact thing that we did before is to animate the position like so just drag this out and set the track mat to alpha mat so now we should have something like this now you can see the text is kind of overlapping each other so we need to keep create that gap between them now you can keep it like this if you want to but i like to keep gaps so it makes it look really nice you know i like it so i'm just gonna use my arrow keys to just drag it like so now we have something like that maybe the gap is a bit too much i'll just use my arrow keys to you know position them like so and that looks pretty nice so now let's give this animation a little bit of life or you can say anticipation so 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my both of the text layers and hit P to bring down the position properties. Select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Go to graph editor, select the point and just drag this like so. So it's going to come in fast and then it's going to give that subtle slow movement. It's going to stop slowly. So we have this really nice and subtle animation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create those you know dashes or you can say those strokes pretty quick so select the shape layer tool or the pen tool and i'm gonna hold shift like so to create a line set the stroke to let's say three and make this white we don't need the fill so we can just uncheck it there we have it let's just rename this to dash oh one drag this down and i'm gonna parent this to the raw text so it's gonna stay along with the raw so i'm gonna duplicate it bring this down like bring this up like so and then i'm just gonna you know hold the anchor point and just drag this by holding shift just place this below our first text and then i'm gonna parent this to the first text that is the state so now we have something like this now you can see the strokes are not getting affected by the track mat and the reason is the track mat is just matting our text not the dashes so now what we need to do is we need to pre-comp it so let's just just set this to none or no track mat select our text and the dash and pre-comp it let's just call this raw then do the same with our first text as well just pre-comp it and call this stay so now we have it and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this again to alpha mat like so so basically in simple words we are just going to group the layers so now we have this really nice and simple animation now let's select all of them and pre-comp it and let's call this maybe something like text and hit ok so now we have it in one single pre-comp so i'm going to duplicate it and let's create that glow shadow so i'm going to name this let's say glow and hit S to bring down the scale properties and unlink this then I'm just gonna set this to let's say maybe 20 and let's just drag this kind of like so then I'm gonna add an effect called fast blur so I'm gonna drag this and set the blurriness to let's say 250 should work good then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just play around with the settings or the properties of the scale and just figure out for yourself what you you know what kind of look you really want to go with something you can just manipulate it and just check it out what fits for you guys and yeah so it looks really nice and subtle now you may get a little bit of bending so you can just switch from 8 bit to 16 bit if you want to so to get rid from those bendings color bendings so you can also switch to 32 now you may see a bit of a you know kind of noise in it and this is cause of the screen recorder but when you do it you're gonna you know find it perfect so as you can see it looks really nice and really simple to create so now what we can do is we can you know add some accent to it so you can just change the color if you want to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select the S and make this a next up bold and change the color to something like a cherry red and hit OK. Just copy the color properties so we can paste it later on. Onto the dash, like so, by hitting Ctrl V and hit OK. Do the same thing with the raw as well. I'm gonna select this, select the R, make this bold, and add the same color. Just hit Ctrl V to paste the color. Now it's not necessary to do this thing, but you know it's it's gonna give that little bit of accent to the text which makes it looks really nice and you can see the glow is also colored it looks really really nice so you can see it is really simple and really cool way to create some really nice text animation now the last thing we need to do is we have our text animating in so let's make it animating out so to do that what I'm gonna do is select the both the pre-comps and pre-comp it let's call this main title and hit ok then i'm going to go to let's say two seconds maybe and hit alt and close bracket to crop this up hit ctrl d to duplicate it go to time 
and time reverse layer then I'm gonna hold shift and drag this so it's gonna snap in like so and now we have our in animation as well as the out animation so you can see it looks really nice really simple and really clean so I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and I'll see you in my next video till then take care and don't forget to stay raw stay creative